<laughs> Hi, I'm Don, and I work at Wilders Fencing as an industrial designer. I started with Steve uh, about 23 years ago, just as a labourer, and over the years my role's evolved into what I do today. Uh, today we're going to talk about stays. Uh, Steve's already done a short clip on uh, end assemblies, uh, but now we're going to sort of go into a more in-depth of why we make a stay the way we do. This is the process. We started off with a standard timber stay, the footing, uh, found that moved, then we moved on to tieback stays. And uh, <coughs> the first ones were a wire tieback, quickly moved on to a threaded rod with the uh, stay plate weld on the end of the stay with a hole underneath the stay tube, the threaded, hole went, threaded rod went through. Uh, we soon found that under high loads, the, uh, the stay tube was flexing or bending up. Because the holes underneath the stay, it causes the stay plate to want to rotate, which puts the bottom of the stay tube in compression and the top of the tube in tension. Yes. So we've changed our design. We put a slot in the uh, bottom of the stay tube and our stay plate now had the hole that lined up with the center line of the stay tube, which means that all the stay tubes under compression, making it a lot stronger and we don't have the bow anymore. Here, although I started off as just a labourer. 